So here we have secant of 4x equals 2. And what I want to do is show you how to solve uh, for our value of x. Now, the main important thing when we're solving trigonometric uh, equations is make sure we isolate our, um, isolate our trigonometric function with our variable and then solve for the variable. But we have a problem here is we have 4 times our variable. Now, we can't undo the 4 until we actually evaluate for our secant function. So the first thing I need to do here is determine you know, what is the value of my secant. Well, remember, secant is 1 over x when looking at the unit circle. But the best way that I like to kind of look at this is just convert it to secant. Remember, secant and cosine are reciprocals of each other. So therefore, I can say this is now cosine of 4x is now equal to 1 half. And that's going to help me out because I can find I, by knowing the unit circle, I can find when cosine is equal to 1 half a lot easier than it is for me to see when secant is equal to 2. So by creating the unit circle over here, I look at what are the values when cosine equals a positive 1 half. Well, I'm going to have one angle here, and then I'm going to get another angle down here. So this first angle, cosine equals 1 half, is at pi over 3. And at the next angle down there, it's when, cos when my angle is 5 pi over 3. So therefore, I can say my solutions on 0 to 2 pi is x equals pi over 3 and x equals 5 pi over 3. Now, I want to find all of the solutions, not just the solutions that are on the interval of 0 to 2 pi. Because remember, the cosine and secant graph continue infinitely in the positive negative direction. So therefore, to find the values of x equals 5 pi over 3 and pi over 3, I need to keep on adding coterminal angles. So therefore, I'm going to add 2 pi plus 2 pi. And I can keep on doing that in the positive negative direction infinite many times. So we're going to use a variable to represent that um, infinite many times. However, we're not just solving for x because we look at this, going back to your function, it says when f of x equals 4x. So really my equations are saying 4x equals pi over 3 plus 2 pi n. So therefore, I now need to solve for x by dividing by 4 on both sides. I don't know why I did my division sign all the way over. And therefore, I get x equals pi over 12 plus uh, pi halves n. And then I get x equals, and let's see, that's going to be 5 pi over 12 plus pi halves n. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you solve for a multiple angle. All right.